My name's Ben Lane. My friends call me Jenga. I live here with my wife and my daughter in the Blue Mountains, Sydney, Australia. This is my story about the road to 30. Recently I've been projecting a route called Wart Counter out at Farside out in Narrow Neck in the Blue Mountains. I've been climbing it there a while and I had done a route called God's Gift of Wart Hogs. There's a link that you can do, you sort of do the better half of God's Gift, then you break left, then you've got this insane dino. This route was a, it was a grade I've been trying to break into for five years now. I sort of sampled a lot of the different 8A pluses and I just never found one that I could really, I'd get to the top on a lot of them and I just couldn't seal the deal. Um, and this route, it just really appealed to me. It's a bit tough now, like I'm, I work full time and I'm a husband and I've got a beautiful child and a beautiful wife and a beautiful house. So I don't get as much time to climb as I used to. I found this route gave me a good sort of personal challenge because the bottom half, not that hard, but it's pumpy. And then you sort of get up and you've got to recover and compose and line this, this sort of dyno section, which when I first tried it, it felt impossible. Trying to get there week in, week out to really focus down. And I think that's the key to hard red points is just focusing in and just getting your teeth into it and just wanting it enough. Uh, a lot of climbers will say the same sort of thing. If you don't climb, you start that little fire inside, you start burning away. You, and I've climbed with an amazing group of climbers up here in the mountains. So there's never any shortage of sight going around. Not like the guys I climb with are just mad keen for it. So it's a very infectious sight that is climbing.
So Jenga, how do you think you went today? Pretty shit, really. Um, I reckon I'm about this close to stripping that fucking thing. Just time, effort, falling, not making progress. Hit the dyno for fine, just can't latch it. Just, I don't know. I've been trying it on and off for over a year now. I tried it a lot before summer. Um, didn't feel that close to it. And then I set some little dyno simulators on our woody and I did a lot more campusing and I did a lot more sort of real strength training and dynamic training. It's probably a bit more quality over quantity. So that when I land that move, that I can just hit the hold and feel strong on it and know I can do the next move and know I can do the next move and know I can take it to the top. After getting back on it the other week, I was like, I can do this. Like I can, I must be a little bit stronger. I must be a little bit fitter or a little bit mentally stronger and got up to the crux and I think I, I could definitely do the moves and I could definitely do it a lot easier. I was really keen to sort of get it finished. Uh. Come on. So yeah, set my project. Can't really believe it. It's a grade I never really deemed myself capable or yeah, I never thought it'd be, it'd ever come for me. Um, but yeah, I guess a lot of hard work, a lot of training, a lot of sort of focus and dedication and all that other bullshit. But you can climb these grades. You just gotta give it everything and don't hold back and breathe and commit and you can climb it if you want. Just believe you can do it. <laughs>